fine like this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I was saying, um, what significance does hosting tourism have in this province? Um, who for the province? Um, and really, in terms of economic impact. Yeah. Economic now hosting the launch of the tourism month for us is quite important because we firmly believe that this will help us to profile the northern cape currently tourism is growing in the province we've managed to exceed the pre-covid figures just the last report we received we had about 1.4 million bed occupancy tourism is contributing about two percent to the gross domestic product of the northern cape which is roughly about 4.5 million bread. and there's about 20,000 people who are employed in the tourism sector. For us, it's a sector which presents lots of opportunities, it's a growing sector, and launching having this event in the province really builds into that. Mm. And Russian Cape is often seen as the lesser known tourist um, province, yeah. if I can put it that way. What initiatives are in place to change that? Yeah, the province is underexplored in many respects, uh, including uh, tourism as well. But what we we'll have to do as the province is to intensify our work of marketing the Northern Cape so that it becomes a destination for us. We, firm, we firmly believe that there is a variety of offerings in the province that could serve to attract tourists domestically and also international tourists. Just lastly, um, how did the province the interest generated by the tourism month this month beyond September and ensure the flow of visitors from around South Africa and Yeah, that, that becomes our immediate challenge now because the Minister is here, there's a whole host of our activities which are coming. On the 26th and 27th we'll be visiting Carnarvon, the square kilometre array. And what will be left with in the province is to ensure that we don't we build on this momentum, we don't allow it to die, and we are going to see intensification of tourism programs just as a build up from this. And then, Premier, just last time, <coughs> you were clear on the stage that, among other things, tourists want to see a well functional uh, municipality, yes. among others. Infrastructure must be good, among others crime also. Yeah. So as your government, how are you going to ensure that Northern Cape is open enough for tourists, especially in those sectors in terms of good infrastructure, no crime, no water shedding or water cuts? We, we are definitely working on that. And, uh, I've been hosting quite a lot of people here in the province. The last that I hosted is the chief executive officer of Ghana Bank. The first thing he said when he spoke was that Zamani, the town is clean. So I'm certain everybody will see in Kimberley, which is our capital town in the country, in the province, you can see that there is definitely change of attitude from the municipality. They are doing everything possible to ensure that they keep the town clean. Starting point, just keep your town clean. And then what we'll have to do thereafter is to attend to infrastructure challenges, water and electricity. And it's now almost 150 days without load shedding. Load shedding is becoming something of the past and for us, which is quite great. And the municipality now is intensively working with addressing the water leakages and the water shedding in the town. And I'm certain you guys are journalists can experience that on a daily basis. There is work that is taking place to fix potholes and all of them. In order for you to attract tourists, you must make your place attractive. There should be a reason for them to come and visit. And that's what municipalities yeah. are working on in the province. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.